hi everyone so god is saying that with some of you there's still people who are going to be coming for you they will be coming for you you are going to have a strange dream and then after this strange dream there's people who are going to be coming for you but when they do come for you go with them go with them agree to do what they ask you to do that is why here when you read in the book of acts chapter 11 from verse 11 to 12 it talks about this particular three men and god is saying that you are also going to be having a similar encounter some of you will be in the form of strangers some of you will be in the form of acquaintances that will want you to come with them or do a certain kind of deal with them or help them with something they will be coming for you but this is the signs these are the signs that god is going to give you that these are indeed people that you should be going with these are indeed people that have been approved by god so firstly they will be coming at a time of a transition where you are going through a transition when you read here the bible says right then three men who had been sent to me from Caesarea stopped at the house where i was staying the spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them so this happened just after he had a dream and then now people were appearing before he even had clarity as to what his dream about now there were people who were coming and then number two their presence is accompanied by a divine confirmation you could see that here god was confirming he was having doubts about going with them because they did not meet a certain criteria they were gentiles he was having a bit of doubt about going with them but the spirit of the lord spoke otherwise so also with you 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 will be at a confused state some people will come to you and you'll be like but i don't really feel as comfortable about this why should i even do this why should i even pursue this why should i even entertain these people but then the spirit speaks otherwise that no go with them go with them i have approved this move they are at the right place so the spirit is going to be approving when these people are right your spirit the holy spirit that's why it's important to have the descending spirit so that you don't miss out on the agent word of the lord the descending spirit is very very important imagine if paul did not have this descending spirit he would have missed out on going with this people because there was a place that god was sending him to in the mighty name of jesus so these people when they come they'll help you to see beyond your current perspective as people our minds are limited our thinking is limited to what we are used to to what we know but now when someone is sent by god they want to be expanding certain things in you expanding your knowledge making you come out of that comfort zone that is why here the spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them when you read also here in the book of Acts chapter chapter 11 and also the people who've been sent by God into your life they bring more clarity and direction into your life some of you you still have certain things which have been unanswered questions that have been unanswered but now when you allow these people to come in now they'll be bringing those they'll be closing up or filling up those gaps that you had questions about because now this man this three men when they were coming they were coming to bring about the clarity they were coming to bring about the direction it's similar to when abram entertained angels without knowing the reason for their coming was so that they can declare that sarah was going to be having a child by this time next year that was the purpose of their visit and also to be revealing certain things unto them so god is also saying in your life there is someone that is still going to be sending there is people that is still going to be sending to be an an answer to be leading you to your purpose to be leading you to the place where god wants you to be at 
and then also these people when they do come they'll be opening up the doors of connections the doors of divine opportunities in the mighty name of jesus because this is what happened now they opened up the door for him now to be entering into places that he was not going to be able to enter without them so god is saying that he is preparing people who are going to come and lead you into the doors to enter into the doors where you would not even qualify to be entering in the mighty name of jesus sorry i'm speaking about peter i made a mistake and said paul so this is peter and not paul in the mighty name of jesus so god is still going to be sending people your way he's still going to be sending people your way in the mighty name of jesus and they will be leading you into your greater purpose in jesus mighty name amen